my dad did not deserve what happened to him. He was a good man. He was one of the greatest generation. He served in four theaters of operation during the war. My father and my mother were wonderful, wonderful individuals. They played by the rules. We were everyday people, typical quintessential New England family. This is, wouldn't happen to us. Manchester, New Hampshire, December 14th, 1995, a snowy Thursday afternoon. Flames ripped through the home of Walter and Faye Page. It was a ferocious, horrible fire. Fire destroyed the home, but the flames had not killed Walter Page. My mom was an avid gardener, and she was at her annual Christmas um, garden club party and came back, and she said she was just thrown back by the acrid smoke. Um, she knew immediately that my father was in there and, and that it was not good. When the fire department came and extinguished the fire at the residence, they found Walter Page's remains in the basement of the home. The autopsy determined that he died of multiple stab wounds. Stabbed him. Multiple, 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 multiple times to 12. Left him there, burned the house down. Dennett Page learned of her father's murder from her husband, Hugh. When I had to tell my wife that her father was dead, she just shrieked. I've never heard a more guttural, heart-wrenching sound. Dennett's brother, Rick. It's almost like I could feel that knife going straight through, straight through me, too, as well. A semi-retired stockbroker, a loving husband, a grandfather. Somebody had access to Mr. Page's home. Who would want Walter Page dead? Either somebody broke in and this, you know, was a robbery gone wrong, or, or maybe it was somebody he knew and was expecting and let into the house. I mean, we can't really narrow it down any further than that right now. Because the home was essentially destroyed in the fire, we have limited information to go on. Page was an active member of the local Masonic Lodge. He had started as the treasurer of that lodge with about $50,000, he told me. He turned it into several hundred thousand dollars, of which he was very proud. He had run that portfolio for 25 or 30 years, and then he turned it over. But he kept the account and he was the one who discovered that the money was being siphoned out of it. In the weeks prior to his death, um, it had been discovered that money had been embezzled and stolen from the Masons by uh, Bonnie Bickford. She was married to Carl Bickford, who was the treasurer of the local chapter at the time, and she had access some of their checks and um, bank accounts and had embezzled I don't know exactly, but over $100,000. She was prosecuted for that and convicted and, and served her sentence at the state prison for that crime. She was also convicted of an attempted arson or an arson charge because in the days leading up to uh, Walter Page's death, she was trying to avoid being discovered for her role in stealing this money and had thrown what's typically called a Molotov cocktail at the home of one of the other Masons. She pled guilty to that as well. A source tells Chronicle, Bonnie Bickford was questioned in the murder of Walter Page and denied any involvement. She has not been charged in the killing. We reached out to Bickford. She declined an interview. The Page children hope their father's killer will hear these words and confess. Let us have closure. Stop our pain. You know who you are. You've done this. You need to be honest with yourself and with us as a family and admit to your guilt. The two also want justice for their mother. My mother had a massive stroke in front of me six months after 
the murder. What happened just uh, absolutely destroyed her too as well. I think that's why she had the stroke because her heart was broken and she couldn't handle it. Roughly three and a half, four years after she came down with inoperable cancer, I think she wanted to be with my dad. She died of a broken heart. The family wants Paige remembered as he lived, not how he died. He was full of spit and vinegar. He was ready to roll. He was the rock. <laughs> and now, Dennett and Rick follow their father's lead, still persevering 22 years later to bring his murderer to justice. I hope he'd um, say, hey, go to a kid's, uh, uh, do this for me. Before we leave this earth, it's the least we can do for my parents, the least we can do.